It's so cold in my house! You guys sent me questions to my Twitter and my Facebook, and now I'm gonna answer them. Yeah! Ryan asks, what's a creative project you would like to accomplish in the new year? Uh, okay, so this last Christmas, I wanted to make a horror Christmas film for the whole family uh, called Seasons Bleedings, but I, I didn't get around to it, so we we'll have to put that on the schedule for this coming Christmas. It would have all the things you love about Christmas, you know, lights and, and Christmas trees and bloodshed. Alyssa asks, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? Alyssa's awesome, by the way. I know a lot of people say, Empire Strikes Back, but I'm gonna say A New Hope because that's what started it all. And I'll say the same thing about Fellowship of the Ring and the first Back to the Future movie. I think that I just like the first installments of tri of, of trivial, trivial, tri um, what's the word? Trilogies! I got there. Kronos asks, what motivated you to become an actress and get into TV? Well, growing up, my parents always had classic comedies on. They had uh, classic comedy movies and TV shows. I was obsessed with The Carol Burnett Show. I wanted to be Carol Burnett, so I think that that's probably what prompted my need to be in entertainment. And be a redhead. Francesca asks, to what do you attribute your continued success? I mean, most child stars seem to fade away, and you're still going strong. By fade away, do you mean become back alley crack whores? No, I think it's just all about who you surround yourself with. Uh, you just need really supportive people. And also, I left the industry for a couple years to kind of get my head back on my shoulders, and that really, really helped. Because when you live in Hollywood, like, that place is not real. Especially when you're really heavily in the industry. There's like all sorts of weird shady crap going on, and um, I just need to be in real life for a while. Michael asks, as a person who has never played Monkey Island, please tell me why I should play it and why I should love it because it's awesome, and I told you to. Oh, my favorite new person on the internet, Jamie O asks, dinosaurs or unicorns? Question mark, question mark, question mark, exclamation, exclamation, question mark. Well, she's a unicorn, so that means I'm a dinosaur. And we go together like, do those things, do those go together? Do you think dinosaurs and unicorns could like coexist? I mean, they both got like, you know, like a triceratops has like three, three horns and like a unicorn has like one, and they could be like cool because they're, you know, like horned buddies. Nikolai asks, who is your favorite All That cast member? Ha ha! Nice try, Danny Tamborelli in disguise. At DStraker90 asks, do you have any conspiracy theories? Well, let's just say, if you really examine Kurt Cobain's suicide note, the entire bottom section, which is the only part suggesting that he killed himself, doesn't match the handwriting from the rest of the letter. Plus, he would have had to shoot the shotgun into his head with his toe. How's that possible? Plus, the shotgun shells were on the wrong side of the gun. All his tires were slashed. He had so much drugs in his body, how could he properly roll up all of his drug crap and put it away nicely? And why would you do that before you killed yourself? He was gonna file for divorce against Courtney Love, the week that it happened. I think the week. They gave the murder weapon to Courtney Love and she had it burned. So to answer your question, no. Arkipu asks, what's coming in the future of Mora Lisa? I wish I could tell you. I have a huge, giant, awesome project happening this year and I want to tell you, but I can't. So you're just gonna have to wait around and just, you know, watch my Twitter feed like a hawk every second of every day to see when I announce it. Gatsby Indy Jr. asks, are you a Marvel or a DC fan? <laughs> well, obviously I'm a Marvel fan, cause Stan Lee and I are like this. You know, like we hang out all the time and we get gelato and we talk about how annoying people's babies are on Facebook and we do each other's hair, or at least we used to. Wait a minute, who the hell is Lisa Foils? <sighs> every time, every time. Matthew asks, what's the one thing slash person that irks you and you would like to see them eradicated from existence? Oh, you heard my conspiracy rant earlier. Gabe asks, how many different countries have you visited? Let's see, where have I been? I've been to Canada, I've been to Mexico, I've been to England, and I've been to Italy. England, London was my favorite, and Italy was my least favorite because they were mean to me because I was such a tourist and I was so American and I, I didn't know how to buy bananas properly at the grocery store. But you don't have to yell at me. And that's all for today. Thank you guys for your questions. I do lots of these, so keep your questions coming. If I didn't answer one, just, just tweet it at me again and maybe I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want more vids, be sure to subscribe because you know my channel, it's pretty awesome. You wanna be part of this.